best first dates or dates you can take your special somebody on. With the pandemic, it's hard to go on dates, it's hard to meet people, and I know it's a struggle right now. And when you do have your city or state open up, what are you gonna do? So I'm gonna tell you some good ideas you should take your special someone on that would surprise them and impress them at the same time. So number one is scavenger hunt. The best thing you can do with somebody to really get to know their personality is come up with your own type of scavenger hunt date. Like you would have a list of items where each place you would have a different activity to do, which means one, you're going to get to know the person. Two, you're going to see if your if your chemistry is going to go off each other. Like, is the chemistry there? Are your personalities going to flow with each other, or is it going to class? Stuff like that. So then, the third with like finding out stuff is the fact that you're seeing them outside their shell. It's the best way to get somebody who's shot. Or if you're not good with conversation, it's always something you can talk about. So it's easy for a conversation starters, it's easy for not being in one place, it's easy to just be multiple places. And it's something rarely anybody will do. So it's a first date or a special night nobody will ever forget because you always going to have different moments and when you're in, when you're in a relationship with that person you're always going to remember when you stop at that place so check it out scavenger hunt like if you need an example so you can start with a park right you go to a park and you have to find a bench so you already had it planned out the bench will have a sticky note to say go to starbucks and try um, a mocha coffee. You sit in Starbucks, you talk about a little bit of stuff, you got 10 minutes to talk about a certain subject. Boom, you're off to the next thing. Go to a pizza eatery and ask for a uh, calzone, stuff like that. Find out how you make a calzone. Then you can go to um, like an arts and craft project to where you both have to make a sculpture or make a painting to where you can go to wine night to finish you can go to a comedy club boom 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 that's a whole day of activities you can do with that somebody and it's so simple it won't cost you that much and you can have fun by yourself and with the person if you're not compatible then you just had a fun day doing this adventure stuff. So, number two. Okay, oh, yes. see? <coughs> Jeez. Number two. Um, number two is, is allergies, man. Allergies been killing me, you know, all of Um, Number two is theme parks. Theme parks, um, fairs, um, carnivals. It's the best place. That's my always go to when I want to go on a date because if they like roller coasters, if they like theme parks, then that's where you can see their true personality. Like you would see them, like the shyness come out, you would see them be like the fun, outgoing person they really are. You can come out your shell, you can talk about roller coasters, you can talk about food, you can talk about what you did as a child, what scared you. It's easy to talk about stuff and something you can always have fun. Because no matter what, when you're standing in that long line, you have to talk about something. And it's gonna help you. Been like, so you're not, if you don't know how to talk and you just real shy, you look around, talk about a roller coaster, talk about a ride. Have you been on this? Have you know about this? Oh, talk about people, people watch. People watch works. It works, but I'm telling you, roller coasters are the best. Um, number three, whew, it's a hard one. I want, it's a hard one. Um, number three is going to a do it yourself seminar for cooking, for painting, or for building 
because that's a hands-on activity where you can make jokes, you can come out of your shell, you can laugh at yourself and not try so hard to impress the person. They can really see you for who you are instead of trying to put on a front and trying to be like, I'm going to show the best person I can. It, it doesn't work like that nine times out of 10. So a do yourself seminar is really going to be able to help. And you can get close with the person if they need help with anything. Or like, let's say you're supposed to make a birdhouse and they need help on the stuff, you can help them. And with this and that, that can be your make or break moment down the road to get another date. But that's another story. That's a whole different segment about asking a date and this and that. Um, my do not dates. Woo. <sighs> movies, 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 man. I wouldn't say take them to the movies. Like, don't do dinner than a movie. Don't ever do dinner than a movie. It has to go movies than dinner. Because if you do dinner in a movie and you really not that person to hold a conversation and you're awkward, then the whole evening's going to be awkward and it's going to be like, eh. Then you're going to go see a movie. Then you're both going to be sitting in your chair like this. You're going to be like, like it's it's not gonna work like you want to do dinner i mean you want to wow you want to do movie first because then you have something to talk about at dinner that will carry the whole dinner if you hit a dead spot be like yo remember that part in the movie when kevin hart did this you're like yeah that's not or he would be like yeah that's not then that that can hold you um another thing first dates not at your place. Not a, it's not a good look. Not at your place. A lot of times that come off. Don't do it. Not on the first date. Not on the first date. If you've been dating for a while, cool. Awesome. Not on the first date. You do not know what you're walking into. And it's, it's crazy because we would always, from the dating sites, be like, yeah, just come over and chill. So what happens if you're not compatible? Like, what happens if it's just awkward? So then you're in a house just sitting there looking at the time like, yo, how can I get out? Like, how can I get escape? Then you gotta call your friend, your friend gotta take emergency and all that stuff. Not like I did that, but people have to call people to fake emergency. But, but nah, it's just, it's easier to do an activity. An activity, I can tell you, is nine times out of 10 more successful dates to leading up to a uh, stable and long-term relationship than going on your basic, basic traditional date. Because you gotta think out of the box. You gotta do something different. Do something they never done before. Take somebody to NASA to like float around in zero gravity chamber. That's crazy. Take somebody to go skydiving, fly a plane, this and that. Do something out of ordinary, like do something different. And I'm telling you for a fact, if you do that, it will work. You will get a second date unless you are just horrible and an asshole, then you don't deserve a second date. But these are the ways you can get a second date and these are the best ideas by far in 2020 you can go out and do pre-pandemic and post-pandemic. I'm telling you, it's going to work. Be safe out there. Wear your mask. Can't wear a mask. Six feet. Stay healthy out there, guys. It's your boy, Wesley. And I'll be back next week with a new episode talking about how to ask your person on a date. So, so all right, y'all. Stay humble. Stay blessed.